everyone. Today we will show you a real interview to help you practice for your U.S. citizenship test. The applicant is a senior person. She is 66 years old and she is unemployed when she takes the U.S. citizenship interview. Please watch this video fully to know what questions will be asked by the USCIS officer. Let's get started. Good morning. How can I assist you today? Good morning. I'm here for my citizenship interview. Can I have your appointment letter and ID, please? Sure. Here they are. Thank you. You're welcome. Do you have your green card with you? Yes, I do. Here it is. Great. Thank you. You're welcome. Here is your appointment letter and your ID. And here is your waiting number as well. Thank you. Please have a seat. We will call your name or your number when your appointment is ready. Thank you again. You are most welcome. Eight seven, Mrs. Tafari. Yes, it's me. Hi, Tafari. I'm Immigration Officer Eric. And I'll be conducting your interview today. How are you doing? Hello. I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. How about yourself? I'm doing well, too. Thank you. Can you follow me to the room? Yes, officer. Please come in and remain standing. You can place your belongings next to the chair. Thank you. Before we start the interview, I'm going to place you under oath. Please raise your right hand. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth? Yes, I do. Please take a seat. Thank you. You're welcome. Can I have your appointment notice, your green card? And state issued ID such as a driver's license and your passport? Sure, here you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Officer, I regret to inform you that my passport expired last month. Will this pose any issue? That's not a problem as long as you're not traveling anywhere soon. First of all, I need to collect your fingerprints and take your photograph. 
The photo that is taken today will be used on your naturalization certificate when you pass your citizenship test. Now, can you put your right index finger on the scanner in front of you? And switch to your left hand and put your left index finger on the scanner, please. Please look at the camera in front of you. Perfect. Did you have any trouble finding our office? No, it isn't too difficult to find since my husband came here a couple times before. So your husband came with you today? Yes, my husband came with me. He drove me here. Did you bring the interpreter with you today? No. Are you exempt from the English requirements for the U.S. citizenship test? No, I don't think so. All right. Do you have any questions before we start the interview? No, I don't. Why do you want to be an American citizen? I want to vote and travel without restrictions. Good. Now, let's start the civics test. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready but a little bit nervous. Have you studied? Yes, I studied since I've applied. What version of the civics test did you study? 2008 version. That's the correct one, so are you ready for the test? Yes, I am ready for the test. Do you have any questions before we start? No, I don't. All right. I'll ask up to 10 questions. And you pass if you can give six correct answers. And you can just provide one answer. Please say the answers loudly for me. Who does a U.S. Senator represent? All people of the state. Where is the Statue of Liberty? New York Harbor. What are two rights of everyone living in the United States? Freedom of speech, freedom of religion. Who signs bills to become laws? The President. Who was President during the Great Depression and World War II? Franklin Roosevelt. What ocean is on the east coast of the United States? Pacific Ocean. It's not correct. The correct answer is the Atlantic Ocean. I will ask you the other question since you need to answer six questions correctly to pass the test. Please listen carefully. What is the supreme law of the land? The Constitution. Well, you got more than six questions correct. So you passed the civics test portion. Thank you.
Now, we're going to do the English reading and writing tests. I'm going to show you a sentence on the tablet, and I want you to read it back to me. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. When is Flag Day? Good. Now, listen carefully to this sentence that I'll say. And write it down on the digital tablet in front of you using the stylist pen. Okay. Flag day is in June. Flag day is in June. Excellent. Everything is perfect. You did it. Congratulations. Thank you, officer. Do you feel better now? Yes, I feel a little bit better, but still nervous. I couldn't sleep well last night because I was just thinking about the test. Do you want to take a quick break now? No, I think I'm okay now. All right. Now I will review your application form to make sure everything is correct. When did you become a lawful permanent resident? October 5th, 2018. How did you get your green card? Through my family. Who sponsored you to live in the U.S.? My daughter sponsored me. Do you live with your daughter now? Yes, I live with my daughter. What is your current legal name? Tafari Ely. You don't have a middle name? Yes, I don't have a middle name. What is your first name? My first name is Tafari. How do you spell your last name? E L I E. Have you used any other name since you got your green card? No, I haven't used any other name. What's your name on your green card? Tafari Ely. Some people want to change their name when they become U.S. citizen. So would you like to change your current name? No, I don't want to change my name. Okay. What is your date of birth? November 21st, 1958. What is your country of birth? The Dominican Republic. You are currently a citizen of the Dominican Republic, correct? Yes, officer. What is the best phone number to reach you at? 208-785-5000. Can you confirm your social security number? 206-54-2854 
Your current address is 264 Holmes Road, Scarborough, Maine, 04074. Yes, it's correct. How long have you lived here? I've lived at this address for four years. Do you remember when you moved to the current address? Let me remember. I moved to the current address on March 18th, 2020. Whom do you live with at this address? I live with my husband and my daughter's family. All right. Where did you live before? 1447 6th Street East, St. Paul, Minnesota, 55106. Did you also live with your daughter's family at this address? Yes, we live together. Have you lived at any other addresses in the last five years? That's all. All right. Have you ever traveled outside the U.S. in the last five years? I took three trips outside the United States in the last five years. Have any of your trips outside the United States been longer than six months? No, officer. Can you tell me about your first trip? I went to the Canada on the first trip. When did you leave the United States the first trip? I left the United States on June 11, 2019. You returned to the U.S. on June 23, 2019? Yes, officer. The second trip you also went to the Dominican Republic, correct? Yes, correct. You were away 26 days on this trip, is that correct? Yes, that's correct. Do you remember when you returned from this trip? Yes, I returned on April 12, 2023. Please tell me your last trip. I took the last trip on February 4, 2024, after I applied for U.S. citizenship. Where did you go on this trip? I went to the Dominican Republic. How long were you gone? 14 days. What is the purpose of your trip? I went on vacation. Besides, I visited my brothers, my sisters, and other relatives there. Did you return on February 18, 2024? Yes, officer. Can you update it for me? Okay. I will do that right now. Thank you, officer. Do you plan to live in the U.S. permanently? Yes, I plan to live here permanently. All right. Do you work now? No, I'm not working now. I'm retired. What age did you retire? 
I retired at age 62. Have you ever worked in the last five years? Yes, I have. What did you do? I was a gardener. What is the employer's name? Little Field Gardens. How long have you been working there? Since May 2019. Have you worked anywhere else in the last five years? No, that's it. All right. How many times have you been married? I've been married one time. When did you get married? I got married on August 21st. 1978. Where did you get married? The Dominican Republic. Can I see your original marriage certificate, please? Sure, here you go. Thank you. What is your husband's name? My husband's name is Yon Melo. What's your spouse's date of birth? September 19th, 1952. How many times has your spouse been married? He has been married one time. Is your current spouse a U.S. citizen? Yes, he became a U.S. citizen last year. Is your spouse still working? No, he is retired. All right. How many children do you have? I have two children. I have a daughter and a son. Great. Please tell me what your children's names are. My daughter's name is Linda Melo. My son's name is John Melo. What are your children's dates of birth? My daughter's date of birth is July 3rd, 1980. And my son's date of birth is May 16th, 1986. Can I have their birth certificates? Sure, here they are. Thank you. Do you and your spouse have any adopted children? No, we don't have any adopted children. What does your daughter do for a living? She is a store manager. She currently works at Family Dollar. Are all your children U.S. citizens? Yes, officer. All right. Now, I'm going to ask you some more questions about your background and your criminal history. Please make sure you understand and if you have any questions let me know. Okay, thank you. Have you ever claimed to be a U.S. citizen? No. Have you ever voted in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? No, never. 
Have you ever stopped another person from practicing his or her religion? No. Have you ever filed a federal, state, or local tax return since you became a lawful permanent resident? Yes, I file taxes jointly with my husband every year. Were you ever involved in any way with killing or trying to kill someone? No. Were you ever a member of or did you ever serve in help or otherwise participate in vigilante unit? No. Have you ever lied to any U.S. government officials to gain entry or admission into the United States or to gain immigration benefits while in the United States? No. What is an immigration benefit? Things like a visa, green card, or citizenship. Have you ever made any misrepresentation to obtain any public benefit in the United States? No. Have you ever been a member of or in any way associated, either directly or indirectly, with any other totalitarian party? No, never. Have you ever called yourself a non-U.S. resident on a federal, state or local tax return since you became a lawful permanent resident? No. Have you ever given any U.S. government officials any information or documentation that was false, fraudulent, or misleading? No, never. Have you ever been declared legally incompetent or been confined to a mental institution? No. Have you ever been removed, excluded, or deported from the United States? No. Have you ever been convicted of a crime or offense? No, officer. What does to be convicted mean? To be found guilty of a crime under the law. Are removal, exclusion, rescission, or deportation proceedings, including administratively closed proceedings, currently pending against you? No. Were you ever a worker volunteer or a soldier in a prison or jail? No. What is prison or jail? A place where prisoners are kept. Have you ever served in the U.S. Armed Forces? No. Do you support the Constitution and form of government of the United States? Yes, I do. Have you ever gambled illegally or received income from illegal gambling? No, never. Are you willing to take the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes. If the law requires it, are you willing to perform non-combatant services in the U.S. Armed Forces? Yes. Do you understand the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes. 
Do you know what oath of allegiance to the United States means? A promise to be loyal to the United States. Are you willing to bear arms on behalf of the United States? Yes. All right. Now, please review the application on the tablet. And make sure if your information is correct. Then please sign the last page. Everything is correct. Great. I also need you to sign the Oath of Allegiance section. This is what you will swear when you take the Oath of Allegiance. If everything is good for you your signature at the bottom. Congratulations. You passed the interview today. Thank you, officer. We will send you a notice for the oath ceremony within a month. You still have an important step that needs to be done to become a U.S. citizen. Make sure you attend the oath ceremony as scheduled. Do you have any questions at this point? No, officer. Let me walk you back to the customer service area. Thank you again, officer. Goodbye. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more.